How do I invest like Warren Buffett? The best way to start investing like Warren Buffett is to look down the back of the couch and see if you can find a few billion dollars. No luck? Okay, then today we're going to have to answer a slightly different question. How do I invest like Warren Buffett if he only had my budget and knowledge? We can actually answer this pretty easily because we have his ideas clearly laid out in his annual shareholders letter for Berkshire Hathaway Incorporated in 2013. Here is the core idea. Take whatever capital you want to invest and buy 10% short-term government bonds. The other 90% should be put in a very low-cost S&P index fund. All right, now some of you may be thinking, fine, but what the heck does that mean? Let's break down the terms. Government bonds are very low-risk investments with very low returns. Just to be clear, they are only low risk when they are issued by stable governments like the US, Norway, New Zealand, etc. You know that these countries are in a stable economic position, so even if there's a major financial disaster, they will still be able to pay their debts. Bonds have three basic lengths. Short term is 1 to 5 years, intermediate is 5 to 12, and long is 12 to 30. So, you buy a bond at a fixed term length with a fixed interest rate. Each year, you receive the interest and then you get your initial investment back when the bond expires. It's basically a guarantee of a low return, typically around 3%. Short term are the safest because there's less chance of a country collapsing within 5 years than in 15 years. Government bonds are your stable, boring base. Now, most of your money will be made from an index fund. Indexes are simply lists of the top companies, run by data companies or newspapers or finance companies. We have just come to trust certain indexes, like the FTSE for the UK, run by the Financial Times, and the S&P 500, produced by Standard & Poor for the US market. An index fund buys a spread of all the companies in the list. This means you aren't investing in any specific company or industry really, you're just hoping that the market in general grows, because it always has. There are some bumps and crashes along the way, but in the long term, index funds always come out on top. What's more, they often outperform many expert investors. Buffett says that even if you know nothing at all about the stock market, you can still benefit from it. Your only goal should be to keep your cost as low as you can. So look for places with very low fees, and then make sure you have a diverse spread of the biggest businesses across many sectors. But what do you do if you have some experience and want to put that knowledge to use? Well, Buffett has a golden rule for this too. He says you should treat buying shares in a company just like buying the whole company. If he cannot make a sensible estimate of what that company can earn in the next five years, he doesn't invest, no matter how appealing it may seem. Because if you can't estimate, then you are simply tossing a coin. Sure, all investments carry risk, but you must be honest with yourself about what those risks are. And just in case you're wondering, does Warren Buffett really practice what he preaches? Well, he also said that his tactic of 10% in government bonds and 90% in an S&P index fund is exactly what he has put in his will for his wife. If you would like more advice on investing of any kind, please give us a call at Holborn Assets, where we have over 100 UK qualified advisors who do this on a daily basis. So, if you're serious about investing, we look forward to chatting more soon.